I'm going to record the uh, Venn diagram explanation so that you can uh, watch this and get a little feedback on what we're looking for. The uh, labs are meant to get you to think through a process. So you're going to start with a question, and the question is always going to lead what it is you're looking for. So what is it you're trying to do? Your procedure, your calculations. So this isn't a worksheet, you know, where you go da 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 da. You have to decide maybe this lab won't have a calculation, or maybe it won't have a procedure, but most of them are going to have a purpose, procedure, calculation, and conclusion. The data fits in in different places, but um, for this case, we have a purpose. What's the question? And then it leads to what we found. What, whatever you're asking here is what you should find down here. Your procedure is what you did to collect the data, and your calculation is what you did to get the answer. And then your conclusion is what the answer is. And we're going to extend it. I want you to come up with another comment on what you can do to make it more challenging. All right, so with this one, all that you're going to do is go to blank spot right now, and at the top, just put uh, Venn Diagram Investigation. And we'll start kind of easy. This is an easy lap right up. It's due next Monday. You'll always get a week to do these. We'll start with your purpose. The purpose is going to involve what is it you're trying to find. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, design a situation where individuals pick one other both or neither. Okay. Draw Venn diagram. Uh, make up three questions regarding those and answer. And so you're going to design a situation where individuals pick one, other, both, or neither, draw a Venn diagram, make up three questions, and answer. That's the purpose. The purpose is what the whole point of this thing is, and there it is. There's your purpose. Now, what's the rest of it? Well, probably the next thing you're going to want to do is your Venn diagram. So the sketch comes next. Sketch is super helpful because you're going to be able to label things. For example, let's say I'm looking at, do you like to eat hot dogs? Do you like to eat hamburgers? I'm going to ask you to be very specific on your question. Because you can't say hot dogs, hamburgers, and point to somebody. They're not going to know what you mean. Do you like to eat hot dogs, hamburgers? Now, could people like both? Yeah. Could you like neither? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, do you like hot dogs and uh, hot dogs? Hamburgers. I'm going to go comma hamburgers because I don't want to say or because that seems to be a dead end. Alright, so now, once you have that, then write your data for this one. Hot dogs, hamburgers, both or neither. All right, let's try it. Raise your hand if you like. You have to pick only one. How many of you like neither hot dogs nor hamburgers? Don't like either one. 
maybe you're vegetarian. One, two, three, four, five, five people. Don't like them. Uh, I'm not sure hot dogs are a meat. Most of the times they're a mystery. How about both? How many of you like hot dogs and hamburgers? My hands go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. How about just hamburgers? You only like hamburgers. We had a lot last. What? Only one? Oh, there we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five people. Now, before we get this last answer, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 31. How many should this be? It should be one. Raise your hand if you only like hot dogs. There you go. Perfect. One person. Yeah, it's special. I love hot dogs. Best hot dogs around are the holiday hot dogs at the um, gas station. Uh, not after, not after two though. If they're sitting there after two, no way. All right. So then, what you'll do is you'll put those numbers in here, and you know how to do that. But then, what you're going to do for your procedure, and this is going to be the procedure. I want you to invent three questions. Okay. The three questions are going to probably start off with something like uh, probability of, you know, hot dogs, union, hamburgers, you know, something like that. Two of the questions have to have compliments, meaning it's you don't like union or intersect. So you're going to have union or intersect, and you're going to have at least Two of the questions are going to have compliments to them. However you want to do it. Make it as interesting as you can. Then what you're going to do is, this is the easy part, right in this part. And then you have to, in words, write what it is you're asking. Okay? So in words, what's the question? You're going to do that for each one. There's going to be three. Then you'll have your calculations, where you'll calculate, show the problem in symbol form, you know, like number one, probability of hot dogs, union, hamburger, and you're going to show that and get your answer, and do that for two, and do that for three. Then your final part will be your conclusion, and your conclusion will simply be, both. PHD union H equals 0.37 or whatever it is. And we'll do that for those three. I'd even number them. One, two, three. And then I want you to do what would one sentence sentence of what would make it more complicated. Now, if you just put garbage down for these for this, you know, like add more, you won't get that point. It needs to be specific. Our goal is to be as mathematically specific as we can. This will change into something else in the future. This is worth 20 points. It needs to be neat and readable. I don't, ju I don't uh, grade on neatness, but if it's not readable, I hand it back. And you have to redo it. Because I, I want to be able to read it. So you have your purpose, you have your sketch, you have your data, you have your three questions, you have your calculations, and you have your conclusion. It shouldn't be too bad. And that is the first math investigation using Venn diagrams.